And hello again everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Agatha Christie's and then there went on and it's late at night and we're about to do a little stealth work so without further ado, let's do this. I'm not entirely sure what I have to look for. I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. Nothing else to see about that. There is no cause for that. I can't see anything of interest. I've already learned all I can. Right, okay. It's a book holder. Seems like a long time since it's been used. Yeah, I'm really getting into this now. It's actually a really fun game. The storm is kicking up something fierce. Besides, my time would be better used snooping around inside at the moment. Is locked. This bears a closer look. Powerful friends want to shine some light on the matter. Flowery speeches may wi may win you a few friends, you and Owen. Nothing else to see about that. There is no cause for that. I can't see anything of interest. This bears a closer look. Oh, here we go. A map of the island. That will come useful. Right, I think that's all we need to worry about. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nothing else to see about that. That came apart rather easily. They don't get along. I think I might have just worked something out. So I'm going to do each video. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back inside. Go back inside. Go back inside now. Come on. Back inside. Property of Teresa Robson. I transcribed the interesting passages into my notebook. Back in the hallway. Back into the main hall itself. Over to this. Perhaps another time. It's got power. But it still doesn't seem to be working. I don't think that's appropriate. Right, well we obviously can't do anything with that, so let's um, go have a little explore somewhere else. I think I'll be exploring the dining room.
Pokemon game. Nine little sailor boys. It's too dark to move around in there without stumbling. Right, maybe I'll have to now go back. Um, maybe I have to go back into the hall and go upstairs. I think I'm actually quite capable of maybe doing an hour video on, on this kind of game. It's really dark up there. I need a light source. And if I torch... Let's hope that holds. It's really dark up there. I need a light oh, source. Where do I get a torch from? I can't open it. It's locked. A rather beautifully made globe of the world. It's too dark to move around in there without stumbling. Where do I get the fucking torch from? I know you have to get a torch, I know that much. To go out in that storm now would be reckless and foolhardy. Well, your fault for not let, not actually making me real. What, you know, I can't see anything what I need to do. I'm stuck. Nothing else to see about that. There, back to their original state. They don't get along. There is no cause for that. Those don't what? work together. I can't see anything of interest. Perhaps another time. This is neither the time nor the place. I don't need it, and I'm no pack rat. I don't need to lug this around with me. I don't need it, and I'm no pack rat. The larder is very well stocked. The yeah, I know, I realise well that, but I want to know how I do something. So can you please help me instead of just being an absolute idiot? Batteries, I need batteries. Where do I find batteries? Copper pots, just as I'd expect.
place for everything and everything in its place. A place for everything and everything. Oh, it's getting on my nerves now, Narakot. You're not doing what I want you to do. You're just being an absolute idiot. Come on. It's really dark up there. I understand I that, but where do you get one from? Perhaps you can elaborate and help me. Not that I'd want to play, even if there was time. I've no talent for the game whatsoever. Do I have batteries? Well, I don't know where batteries are. Right, I'll be right back, guys. Fresh flowers, quite pretty. Fresh flowers, quite pretty. Well, I still can't work out how to do it, so I'll be back again. Right, well. This the note that in actually we're actually hang on, I want to move that over because I can't see my own note. Right, this note that we actually saw. Um, what's that? This bears a closer yeah. look. Right, there's a little uh, thing here. Um, this could use a closer powerful look. Powerful friends want to shine some light on the matter. Flowery speeches may win you a few friends. Well. It doesn't really give you a big hint, but I actually remember this. I actually am watching a, a Let's Play on it myself on this game, and you simply have to just do this. It's probably the most simple thing in the world, but you wouldn't really think about it. I mean, I think the guys who did a, a 15 minute video actually cut it down from about 45 minutes of just wandering around doing nothing. There might be a lot of a lot of times where I might be actually do, redoing my videos and cutting it. If I had decent software, I would do that, but I don't. So there are some batteries buried under to here. Cut videos. What I can do with my recording software is actually pause the recording. So that's how I will be cutting stuff if I have to. Et voilà. Whoever it is, please leave us. My wife needs her rest. Sorry about that, Rogers. Not at all. These are very expensive linens. I bet they're very strong. I like how you actually have the torch thing itself to actually do this. I think it's very cool. I can't open it. It's locked. It's locked fast. He's as tight as an owl. I expect nothing could wake him up. I don't think going through that would help. Either he's innocent, in which case I'd be grossly invading his privacy, or he's guilty and surely wouldn't be daft enough no, to leave any would. evidence in no, his no, luggage. Thank you. I 
I don't need to lug this around with me. I don't think going through that would help. Either he's innocent, in which case I'd be grossly invading his privacy, or he's guilty and surely wouldn't be daft enough to leave any evidence in his luggage. I think I have an idea about who actually the killer is. I can't open it. It's locked. But I'm not going to say that until we get a little, a little bit further into the game. It's tightly locked. Locked. I don't think going through that would help. Either he's innocent, in which case I'd be grossly invading his privacy, or he's guilty and surely wouldn't be daft enough to leave any evidence in his luggage. I don't know why, why going all around this is actually, or what was it? I don't actually know what he's doing Locked. Morning is coming. I'd best get back to my bed. Well, I didn't get much rest, but at least I have something to show for it. I'd best see if everyone has come down for breakfast. If what Narakar told Vera is true, and mind you, I take anything he says with a grain of salt, then they will not be sending a boat until at least Monday, even if the storm clears. Wise to remember, Narakot's the odd man out here. Yes, thanks to you, I believe, Blore. At least nothing else has occurred. I hope you are correct, Miss Claythorne. However, I feel compelled to draw your attention to this table's centerpiece. Now two are broken. How odd. Ah, Mr. Narakot, good morning. Since Mr. Marsden won't be joining us, there is an extra place for breakfast, although breakfast itself seems to be a trifle behind schedule. I'm afraid there is no breakfast at present. Mrs. Rogers has um, not been able to carry on this morning. What's the matter with the woman? I was promised fresh apple juice this morning. I must tell you a sad piece of news. Oh my Mrs. God. Mrs. Rogers her. died in her sleep. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? She was a very skittish creature. And she had a shock last night. It might have been heart failure. Her heart certainly failed to beat. What caused it to fail is the question. Did you hear anything in the night? No, my sleep was quite restful. Good day to you, Miss Claythorne. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death, Judge? I'm afraid it confirms my opinion that there is something very wrong on this island. It occurs to me that if these two deaths were not suicides or accidents, that Mr. Owen may very well be responsible. If so, he is almost certainly on this island somewhere. I agree. I think we should find a way off this island immediately. Did you hear anything in the night? I confess I slept fitfully. Marsden's death, the storm, but I heard nothing. Possibly also due to the storm. 
Understandable, Judge. Quite understandable. Mr. Narricott, can your boat be repaired? I doubt very seriously it can be repaired. Mr. Bloor did a good job. Steady on. I didn't know then how the land lay, did I? So you say. If you find a means of leaving the island or of signaling the mainland, I'm sure we would all be in your debt. And I'm sure all of us would help in any way we could. Here, here. We're never going to leave the island. None of us are ever going to leave. What were you hinting at concerning Marston's politics? Only that he'd become mixed up with some foreigners. I think that's all I'd better say at present. Thank you kindly, Judge. What was the cause of death? Impossible to say offhand. There must be an autopsy. I certainly couldn't give a certificate without one. When did you find out? Rogers roused me at first light. He'd gotten up to light the stove and see to the power generator before waking her. When she didn't respond, he got me. Can you tell when she died? Without an autopsy, not for certain, but it must have been some hours ago. The body was uh, quite cold. Did you hear anything in the night? No, although it appears I should have. If you'll excuse me, Doctor. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? We know that she consumed something last night. Dr. Armstrong told us so. I, Mr. Lombard? You gave her a sedative. A small dose of trial, nothing more. Doctors have made mistakes before. You're suggesting I accidentally Mrs. Rogers had overdose. Accidentally or otherwise. Oh, One death amazing. may have been an accident or suicide, but two in the space of a few hours? Simply outrageous, man of my standing. Any more questions, Mr. Narricott? Did you hear anything in the night? I'm a very light sleeper. In future, I hope everyone will bear that in mind. Yes, several times I heard something. You didn't investigate? With a judge, a detective, and an amateur sleuth in the house, you hardly need my poor skills in that line. I prefer to keep watch. The hunter in his blind? A good analogy, Judge. You said you recognized Owen's voice. I've had time to think it over, and I'm sure I did. I see no reason to share that information. Well, we'll just talk to these guys, and then we'll pause the video, I think. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? Conscience. What do you mean by that? She was accused, together with her husband, of having deliberately murdered her former employer, an old lady. You all saw her last night. She broke down completely. The shock of her wickedness brought home to her was too much to bear. She literally died of fear. Possibly, if there was cardiac weakness. Call it, if you prefer, an act of God. I won't take up any more of your time, Miss Brent. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? I'm sure Mrs. Rogers wasn't to blame. A good, loyal woman. Did you hear anything in the night? I thought... I thought I heard a voice calling my name. General, you said you thought you recognized Lombard. Did I? Yes, I expect I did. But I failed to see what business it might be of yours. Good day to you, General. You're a detective, Mr. Bloor. Any theories? I appreciate you recognizing the fact there's a professional present. I'd like to know what she had to eat or drink last night before she collapsed. Rogers assures me she had nothing whatsoever. Of course he would say that. But see here. They've done a murder and gotten away with it. Now she's all hysterical, likely to give the show away. She's a danger to her husband. That's what she is. Oh, I should hardly think a man would do that to his wife. You said you knew something about the history of this island. Most of the old stuff can be found in the library. Its more recent history is just as interesting, though. But I'm not inclined to divulge that just yet. That'll do, Mr. Bloor. Well, that triggers... Chapter 3. Eight little sailor boys travelling in Devon. One said he'd stay there, and then there were seven. 
Yeah, you get through this game Rogers pretty quickly. Rogers didn't let his wife's death get in the way of his custodial duties. I assume everyone's gone off on their own pursuits. I should do the same. Well, we're going to do that in the next video, guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.